Mrs. Goggins. Morning, Pat. Not much mail today, Pat. Looks like you might have an easy day. Oh, I quite like being busy, Mrs. Goggins. Oh, Pat. <laughs> Bye, Mrs. Goggins. See you later. Morning, Ted. Post. Ted. Meow. Where could he be? Meow. Hello, Pat. Meow. Meow. I'm just about to start me chores. What? In your hover suit? It's much better than a ladder. Look. Right. Just rev her up. And up we go. <laughs> hey, up. Look out, Jess. <laughs> Watch out. <gasps> Are you all right, Ted? Ow. No, I think I've twisted my ankle, Pat. Oh, dear. I think we'd better call Dr. Gilbertson. Hi, Julian. Look at the radio I've made. <laughs> it's a funny-looking radio. It works, though. Listen. Oh, that sounds weird. What is it? Sounds like a... a cold. Oh, maybe it's a spy. What? Sending a secret message. It's coming from over here. That's a nasty sprain, Ted. You should stay off it for at least a day or two. Two days? What about all my jobs? I'm sorry, Ted, but if you walk on it, you'll make it worse. I'll stop by tomorrow to see how you're getting on. Bye. Bye. Uh, thank you, Doctor. What am I going to do, Pat? I hate letting people down. Well, I'm not that busy today, Ted. Perhaps I could help out. Hey, that's grand. Thanks, Pat. Here, take this walkie-talkie, and if you get stuck with anything, I'll tell you what to do. Good idea, Ted. And let's give you a radio name. Um, <laughs> you can be Red Leader, because you've got a red van. Do you get it? <laughs> and I'll be Bass. Red leader. Right. Yeah. Me first job was over at the church. Red leader to base. Message understood. I'm on my way. The signal's coming from in here. Why would a spy be in the school? Well, because... Well, something secret. <laughs> Boy. You're listening to Bill with no frills on Radio Greendale. Let's pump up the bass, pump up the volume, let's pump up Green. That is not a spy. That's Bill doing his Saturday morning radio show. Well, it was my first go. Uh-oh. I'm getting something else. Listen. But... Morning, Reverend. Oh, good morning, Pat. I was just practising the violin whilst I wait for Ted. Well, I'm afraid Ted's hurt his foot. <coughs> Poor Ted. So I'm doing his jobs today. What do you need me to do? Um, let me see. The things for the village charity sale need sorting out. And, uh, well, I could do with some help with this furniture. Right. Let's get started, then. This is it. We're going to hear the spy's voice. Alpha Tango 4, this is PC Selby. I'm going home for a cup of tea. That's not a spy, either. That's PC Selby on his police radio. Oh, well... There is a spy somewhere. I just know it. Whew, there. All done. Thank you, Pat. 
A fitting replacement for Ted if ever I saw one. Thanks, Reverend. Bye. This is Pat, uh, I mean, Red Leader to base. I've finished at the church. Over. Mr. Red Leader, that's grand. Proceed to the station next. Ajay needs some help with the train. Over. Roger, base. On my way. Over and out. So, you're Ted Glenn for the day here, Pat. There's plenty to do. We've got to clean the rocket and move the big tent to the car park so my brother can pick it up. We'd better get started, then. Charlie, I'm bored. Oh, OK. Um, do you want to go, Julian? Me? Really? Cool. Hey, I've got it. Come on, Charlie, or we'll never find the spy. Whew, that was hard work. But she looks great. She's a beauty, all right. Did you say the tent needed moving? What? Oh, I. It's heavy. I know. Uh, watch out for the... Oh. <sighs> Oh, hello, Pat. Um, hello, love. <laughs> hello, Nisha. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can be there by two o'clock. That must be the spy. They're at Amy's. And okay, Julia. Yeah, I'm getting in the car now. Just keep the lamb warm. Oh, it was just Amy on her mobile phone. Maybe you're right. Maybe there aren't any spies in Greendale. Oh. Whew. That was hard work, Jess. Red leader to base. I've finished at the station. What's my next mission? I repeat. Red leader to base. What's my next mission? Over. Did you hear that? It sounded just like a... a, a real spy. <laughs> I sound just like a spy, Jess. Oh, no. I've lost it. Oh, Julian. Mr. Red Leader. Alf's tractor engine's broken down. You need to go and fix it. I'll tell you what to do when you get there. Over. Right. Copy that, base. My mission this afternoon is Alf's tractor. I'll report in when I get there. <gasps> It's a spy! A real spy! And he's going to do something to Al's tractor! We've got to tell PC Selby. Hello, Alf. Hello, Pat. So you're the handyman today, eh? <laughs> Me tractor's in the barn there. I don't know what's up with it. I'd stay and help, but I've got to feed me sheep. Don't worry, Alf. Ted'll tell me how to fix it on this radio. Bye, Pat. Cheerio. So, let me get this straight. You're saying that there's a spy in Greendale and he's going to do something to Alf's tractor? Yes, yes, that, that, that's right. Red Leader to base. Are you there, Ted? Over. I'm here, Red Leader. Over. I can't just run off to Alf's chasing spies. I need some kind of proof. But, but, but... Listen! Red leader to base. I'm at the tractor now. What should I do first? Over. Well, I never. First thing you need to do is unplug the brakes. Over. Sp 
spy or no spy, unplugging the brakes is very dangerous. Boys, come with me and bring your radio. OK. I've unplugged the brakes. Over. Righto. Now unplug the blue pipe. Over. Ah. Ooh. Mind it doesn't squirt oil on you, though. Huh. OK, base. I've taken all the bits off. Over. Now comes the tricky bit. Wow. Just the red pipe to unplug now. Over. But there's two red pipes. Which one, top or bottom? Over. Oh, I don't know. Uh, but get the wrong one and it'll break for good. Over. Uh... Oh, uh, I'll just have to make a guess, Jess. Uh, Stop! <gasps> oh, hello, Arthur. Thank goodness you're here. I could do with a hand. Pat! Dad? You're not a spy. A spy? <laughs> no, I'm just trying to mend Alf's tractor. Ted's helping me over the radio. Is something wrong? No, Pat. Just a bit of a mistake, that's all. Talk about wasting police time. Sorry, Sorry PC Selby. Well, no harm done, I suppose. If you want to fix that tractor, you better unplug that top pipe first. Oh, thanks, Arthur. Everything all right, Red Leader? Over. Everything's fine, Ted. Ready to finish the job. <laughs> Thanks for mending me tractor, everybody. See you later. No problem, Alf. See you later. Bye. Mr. Red Leader. Thanks for all your help, but that was your last job of the day. Over. Thank you, Ted. I enjoyed every minute. This is Postman Pat and Jess the Cat signing off. Over and out. Wow.